Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to update to a totally new build from build 4942 to 4946. So stay tuned for awesome stuff like the Wi-Fi Sense update as well as Precision Touchpad along with tons of bug fixes and improvements. Stay tuned. You're watching Nasmus Labs where we talk about technology, rapid transit, video games, education and a lot more. So if you like the content, let me know that by hitting the like button so I can make more content like this. And to be notified for future videos, make sure to click the subscribe button. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nasmus Kendrick and today we're updating to Windows 10 build 4946. I'm currently on Windows 10 build 4942, so it's gonna be awesome. You see me uploading a YouTube video. Let's see how fast I could upload it so I could, you know, see if uh, the update's ready first. Uh, so let's see, if the update's not ready, you could have a race of which gets done first, the uploading my video or downloading an update. So let's go to update and security. Oh, look! The download has already commenced and it's ready to restart. So I guess the update has won, although it has a fair start advantage. If I go to about, let's zoom in here with my trusty old magnifier. We are at running Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview version 1607, current build 14.942. Let's zoom out and we should commence the update. So what I'm going to do right now is switch to my phone so I could record the update outside of my PC because you know the screen recorder will close as soon as I click the restart button and so will my upload get cancelled so we can't have that so I'll wait for the upload to finish and then we should move on and let's talk about what's new and changed with this build of Windows 10 where are the settings app can you see that let's type in update and yes the YouTube video finished updating. So Windows update settings. Let's restart. Yeah. We should see the blue icon as soon as it comes out. So let's talk about the known issues and the improvements. The, let's get the boring stuff out of the way, shall we? Optional components such as Hyper-V and Bash should remain installed after updating to this build. We have fixed the issue signing into games that use Xbox Live would not work. Uh, you should be able to sign into Xbox Live in this build. We have fixed it, the issue causing Microsoft Edge to sometimes crash on launch or, or when you type in the address bar or try to open the new tab. You should no longer need to run the PowerShell script. We fixed the issue causing touch scrolling to be too sensitive in Windows 10 apps such as Microsoft Edge. We fixed an issue that where explorer.exe would hang when attempting to open considerably, considerably large .mov files. Or movie files, as some would call it. Some would call it. Uh, we fixed an issue that could result in network icon occasionally getting into the state where a red X would display in the taskbar despite an active internet connection until the device has been restarted. We fixed an issue if the device to brightness was automatically adjusted after being taken or woken from sleep, the brightness levels shown in the action, uh, action center's brightness quick action might not reflect the current brightness of the device. We fixed an issue leading to narrator not tracking focus on the start menu all in start menu all apps list for of tiles. We fixed an issue potentially resulting in the open with dialog box displaying with two entries for calculator after typing in the calculator key on the keyboard or running the calculator app. These are the known issues for PC. If you have third party antivirus such as Bitdefender, Capris Kaspersky antivirus, F-Secure antivirus, and malware bytes installed on your PC or PC might not be able to co complete the upgrade to this build and roll back to the previous build. Larger wins or store games such as ReCore, Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instincts, Killer Instincts, and Rise of Tomb Raider may fail to launch. PCs that are capable of connected standby such as the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 4 may bug check, aka blue screen, well in connected standby. So there you have it. The known issues and improvements for this build. Uh, configuring updates to Windows 10, 31% complete. We should be on Windows 10 soon enough, the new build. All right, guys, we're back at the desktop. We're on build 14.9.4.2. We have upgraded, uh, sorry, I meant we're at build 14.9.4.6. We have upgraded from build 14.9.4.2. And if all these numbers make your head, head spin, don't worry, you're perfectly normal. 
these numbers can get confusing. All right, so we are back at the desktop and here's the first new feature. Unfortunately, I'm on a desktop computer and even my laptop doesn't have uh, the precision touchpad to take advantage of the new functionality. Oh, a notification. So to get to that, you would usually have to go to, if you have uh, a, a precision touchpad uh, enabled, you'd have to go to devices, oh, sorry, uh, devices b from the settings app and you should have trackpad option. Unfortunately, as you can see, I only have a mouse. Let me use my handy dandy magnifier to zoom in for you guys, just in case. We have connected, stand uh, connected devices, Bluetooth mouse, where this if where it should be a trackpad there isn't because my I'm on a desktop with no trackpad but you know I could just plug in a buy a you know standalone precision precision tra trackpad if they're available and plug it into my desktop just to test it out but you know I think this image should suffice and this is from blocks.windows.com so if you do have a trackpad that it supports the precision trackpad feature if uh, mostly if you have the surface pro 4 or the surface book or the HP HP um, spectra x3 or X spectra e3 I can't remember the name but if you have one of the high-end ultrabooks built for Windows 10 you'll have the precision touch touchpad it's hard to say precision touchpad yeah you would have this feature and you could and now you have more Config configuration settings so you're not gonna have to go find strange applets the settings are built into the Windows settings app so to get to that you'd go devices and you'll have touchpad options you have a, a graphic showing you what kind of multi-touch your trackpad supports so swiping up with three fingers will open the multitask view and this is the task view uh, swiping down with three fingers would show the desktop swiping left and right with three fingers with switch from uh, switch from desktop to desktop so if I have two desktops let's have file explorer and the store here so if I if I swiped you know I'll, I'll be able to switch to desktop I'm, I'm currently doing this using my uh, to uh, the control wind windows key and left and right arrow keys to make this happen but you could achieve the same thing oh look I have updates you could achieve the same thing using um, the touchpad um, advanced configuration options you could now switch this this basically tells you what what does what so you could actually switch you know uh, configuring your three finger gestures and you'll have configuring your four finger gestures you could choose what happens with each of the gestures so you could manually configure it and Microsoft promises they're gonna have more features coming in later builds so if you if these simple features don't you know simplistic features don't satisfy you don't worry they're coming and also there were some issues with trackpad on the previous build uh, Microsoft has stated that they have fixed it so let us know if you have one of those if you had experienced one of those problems let us know whether or not this has been fixed please uh, put your comments down below I'd love to hear what you have to say alright so the next feature has to do with network so if you go to network oh this is back actually this graphic what I remember this being there uh, during the preview stages of Windows 10 anniversary update and this went away by the final build actually when Windows, an Windows anniversary update came out uh, this graphic was gone now this is back this graphic is from an old Windows Vista control panel applet which dates back to Windows Longhorn concepts of having this network graphic if this is connected to the local network this line will be connected and if it's connected to the internet this line will be connected so sometimes you might have a local collection but connection but no internet so there have been X here so you know that's very cool so the new feature here is, here is in Wi-Fi if you turn off your Wi-Fi here you can now this option used to be part of Windows Phone has now been ported to the PC now when you turn off your Wi-Fi you could automatically have it turn it back on that is very sweet I wonder why it says Wi-Fi 3 I have no idea but anyway so that is all for the features. We talked about the improvements. We talked about the bug fixes. Oh, there you go. Automatically connected. We talked about the bug fixes and we talked about you know, the known issues. So uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely let us know. Let's check out Winver here. Winver build 14946. 14946.1000. So Windows 10. Redstone 2, guys. So there you go. We have Windows 10 installed I can't wait to see what's coming up with the next build there's an October event I want to talk about that as well I'm going to talk about my predictions for the October Microsoft event coming up stay tuned for that and that is it for today's video 
subscribe to be notified for all future videos. Then for now, have a good one. So bloopers. I'll update, update all of these. Or I don't know how how many uh, four finger gestures. Oh, be quiet, please, store. Uh, multitask view and oh, this is gonna be very annoying. Configuration options. Oh, this is very annoying, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna downloading all of them. Phew. Okay. Nope, we didn't. Okay, so...